I mean, how do you teach a seven-year-old that it could possibly not be okay? I feel like I didn't really have a choice but to be really positive, if anything, for my children, but also for myself. My name is Megan Pischke, and I am the Boarding for Breast Cancer Marketing and Wellness Director. Well, snowboarding to me at this point in my life is, you know, kind of just, I think it'll forever be a part of me. I feel like snowboarding has really defined who I am as a woman, as an athlete, and um, as a person. I was an athlete ambassador for B4BC for a long time. I had wanted to do these wellness retreats. I had these ideas around wellness and at the same time wanting to so support Boarding for Breast Cancer and young women who would need these experiences. So after the birth of my second child, which was about eight years into doing these retreats, is when I was diagnosed. Boarding for Breast Cancer talks about being healthy and active with that idea of being outdoors and doing all of this is your best means to prevention. Obviously, I identify so much with these women, especially young women, young mothers, and so being able to share with them the things that either helped me during my cancer treatment or um, things that I've considered always as medicine, like snowboarding, surfing, or being in the mountains, um, those things are important for me to share, and I feel really grateful to do that. David, DCP as he's known in the snowboard world, we met 20 years ago in this very town and I feel like we've also kind of grown up together. In our early years we traveled the world, hey I'll meet you in Europe or are you going to New Zealand this summer? We've been through a lot, we've had two children and we've been through cancer and we're lucky we have each other. I love you daddy, safe travel. Bye. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. Have fun. Safe travel. So far, I have really energetic, outdoorsy kids, and I think they find a lot of joy and expression outside as well. And it's important to me that I support that. Reeve, I really need your help massaging this kale. I've always been interested in food. I think. I'm interested how it interacts with my body, how it fuels me, how it supports me. So of course I'm going to transfer that to my kids and um, I hope by sharing meals with them, having them prepare meals with me, that it keeps them interested in food and how that food works for their body. And I think that goes for anybody who, you know, finds themselves ill or sick. Um, what are we going to eat? You know, and it's a real personal journey, and I think it's a lot of figuring out what emotions are around food and how we can work through all that and have a nice, healthy meal and love ourselves through it. Mm -hmm.